All right, let's do an exercise and see how it all works. Here we're given a parameterization. We are asked to calculate the tangent vectors and this vector n and find the area of this surface, S, where the parameter domain is this rectangle. Okay, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward question. No, nothing too tricky about it. But let's, let's investigate it a little further and see, see how we go. All right. So for part A, to calculate the tangent vectors, we just differentiate each component of our parameterization and write it as a, as a new uh, a vector. Okay, so differentiate here. You're going to get um, 1, 1, and 3. And TV, well, we just differentiate with respect to V. So that's going to be 0, minus 1, and 1. Okay. All right, so to take the cross product... Just the cross product of these two vectors. Now, I'm, I'm not going to do write, write that all out because, uh, you know, I, I only have a finite amount of time here. From my calculations, you should get that. Now, notice that in this case, the normal vector is a constant vector. Okay, when, when the prob these problems get more difficult it's not necessarily going to be a constant vector. You'll have u's and v's floating around in it. Okay? All right, but on to part b. Part, e is, the more, uh, part b is the more interesting um, part of this question. Find the surface area where this is the parameter domain. How do we do it? Using the previous theorem, we have the following. So all, we, we've already got the cross product here. All we need to do is take its length. The length is going to be something like um, root 18. Okay. Now, the nice thing here is that with this root 18, of course, you can simplify that, um, you have a constant, so you can pull it out the front. So actually, no integration is necessary to do this problem. Why? Because what's left here is just the area of D, right? It's just the area of D. Now, D is just a rectangle. So it's pretty easy to calculate the area of D, right? So let me just draw in the parameter domain here. Uh, to, okay, it's not really drawn to scale, but anyway. All right. So we recognize that, hang on. It's just 3 root 2 times the area of D. And the area of D is just 6. All right, so the surface area of our surface is just 18 root 2 square units. All right, now you may think hang on, why, why did I do this cross product and not, why didn't I cross it the other way? And will that affect the answer? 
Who thinks, who thinks it'll affect the answer? Anyone? Well, it won't because all we're interested in here is the magnitude of the cross product. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you do your cross product for this, um, these type of problems, right? Draw the analogy with um, when we looked at, at path integrals, right? The, pa the path integral, when we parameterized it, it didn't depend on the direction of the tangent vector. It just depended on its, on its length or its magnitude. Okay, so there's a, similar, there's, there's a similar type of idea here. Of course, you've got a normal vector here rather than a tangent, but hopefully you get the idea.